Hi, my name is Valerie and I'm the Senior Library Assistant at Rosemary Murray Library at Murray Edwards College. Before I earned a master's degree in library and information science, I was a full-time yoga teacher. Since 2014, I've completed over 350 hours of yoga teacher training and have taught over 1,000 hours of yoga. However, all of those teaching and training hours were in person pre-COVID. In April 2020, when the library had to close due to the pandemic, we launched weekly online yoga classes taught by me. They were hosted on Microsoft Teams, a platform I had never used before, but which the library had been using to post virtual well-being events, such as short wellness wander videos around our college gardens. These offerings were all part of the library's existing well-being program, which was originally established over five years ago with the aim of fostering mental health and wellness for library users. In Lent term 2020, the in-person events such as arts and crafts activities, a weekly coffee hour and more had to suddenly be moved online. The new live online yoga classes were offered on Friday afternoons for library staff, students and fellows. We hoped to build community and promote well being, especially considering the increased levels of uncertainty, stress, isolation, and illness at that time. We decided to host half hour sessions, which would be enough time to have a genuine break, but not so long as to be intimidating or undoable. We've tracked the number of attendees, and from the beginning, we've gotten a few students every week. The librarians also usually participate, which makes it a fun time for the library staff to bond amongst themselves and with students. We had a handful of regulars and their repeated participation is what fostered a genuine sense of community and continuity. New participants were always excitedly welcomed and they still are, but it was nice to be in regular touch with a few students and get to know them better. I left time at the beginning of each yoga session for a general check-in, during which any new attendees were asked to share their previous yoga experience and alert me of any illnesses or injuries. They could also message me privately or opt out, which some did. When only regulars attended, we were able to do a general well-being check-in, as well as hear updates about their studies. We then did a 15 to 25 minute yoga session suitable for all levels. A few weeks into the yoga sessions, we were asked to feature yoga in the Festival of Wellbeing and had 25 university staff and their children take place in the live session. At the start of Michaelmas term, I was also asked to teach two yoga sessions for freshers. The weekday session was well attended, but no one attended the weekend session, which was a valuable learning for us as we plan future well-being events, including yoga. By the end of the year, I'd taught 30 yoga classes and I have several reflections on what worked well and what did not. We are also preparing a Google form which will be circulated via the library's newsletter and social media asking for feedback. It was difficult to show both my full body as well as close-ups when demonstrating yoga poses in a live session. I navigated this by moving my tablet in when I needed to show something close up and simultaneously narrating that I was doing so. I quickly learned that both a visual of my body doing what I described and the verbal instructions were crucial. In an in-person class, I would not demonstrate everything because I would be able to describe a pose and then go and help anyone who was confused. But obviously that is not possible online. Even though I demonstrated the entire class as I taught it online, I found that providing clear and concise verbal cues was extremely important, as sometimes visuals on a small screen can be confusing. I also figured out and recommended non-traditional yoga props for people to make use of at home, such as cushions or thick books in place of yoga blocks. Most weeks we posted reminders for yoga on our social media channels, but we think perhaps an email reminder would be good too, because when we don't post, people tend to forget and not attend. Additionally, we cannot post the link to yoga on social media as it's hosted on a private Teams channel, but we could send the link to people in an email. We've also considered live versus pre-recorded sessions, 
And over the holiday break, we recorded several short yoga classes in the library that can be shared asynchronously. We've had to purchase a tripod for my iPhone so that I can film these sessions, but otherwise this initiative has not been costly at all. Of course, it helps that I'm both the senior library assistant and a registered yoga teacher. Thank you and please let me know if you have any comments, feedback or questions.